in this tutorial we will model the bottom portion of the house we will also create the ground and the steps from bottom so to create a bottom at first we will okay we will switch back to 3d modeling then close this tool palettes now we will view the top view from this view top then take the rectangle command and create one rectangle that will define the bottom portion sizing suppose we want this much size then switch back to isometric view southeast isometric now we have to extrude this um, by 1050 height so just take extrude select the just drawn rectangle enter give the direction on the bottom side and give the height of 1050 because we want to also add the steps then switch back to front view here we want to create the steps so for switching to front view front UCS plane just go to click on view and select front from this front now your UCS is changed to front then draw one vertical line from mid to mid from this mid to the bottom mid then offset this line by 1000 on either side offset distance 1000 then select this line just drawn and offset it on uh, both sides this side again select the same line and offset on right side enter then it is that uh, middle line enter then copy this bottom line at 158 so we will have the height of 150 for steps so we will just use copy edges copy edges take the bottom line enter base point direction vertical height of 150 then again copy the same line enter base point direction of up, upside give a height of 300 then use press pull take this step okay okay all right don't uh, take on the take that second line so that we will press pull the complete upper portion just uh, we will erase this line enter then say press pull then take the upper portion and give a depth of 230 so this first step is created again we have to copy the this line above again copy edges take this second line enter base point height of 150 again say press pull again a remaining top portion depth of 230 again copy next line so same process you have to repeat to create steps up to top of this portion enter base point direction of distance of 150 press pull again take this portion go inside by 230 again copy edges enter base point direction of up 150 height press pull take the top portion go inside 230 so uh, same process need to be repeated up to so in this way by repeating the same process all the steps has been created up to the top of the veranda now next thing we want to do is give a stone effect to this front surface 
so for that we will just erase this line extra horizontal line erase this line and this vertical line same way vertical line on that portion left side then we will have to apply a stone hatch stone effect hatch so for that we will switch to 2d wireframe then we will view the front view now in this front uh, bottom front plane we want to apply hatch so just give hatch command from draw take hatch then select the swatch of gravel other predefined gravel ok then say add pick point take the internal point here click there ok then just enter and increase the scale suppose we will uh, try scale of 500 just see the preview how it look likes so we will just a bit we will increase it suppose 750 preview ok so enter to come out ok so in this way this gravel hash is applied we will switch back to southeast isometric now this hash is away from that object so to place it on this surface at first we have to create the boundary for the hatch so just double click on the hatch so the hatch dialog box came back then say recreate boundary then he's asking oh, ok I want it in polyline then reassociate yes enter and say ok so it has created the boundary so using that boundary you can move the hatch and place it on the desired surface so just say move select the hatch and the boundary enter take this endpoint and put it on this endpoint so this has is applied now we want to engrave it or we want to create a stone like cut in that surface so for that just explode the hatch go to modify section explode select the hatch and enter then we want to create the engraving so for that just select the press pull then take your cursor inside the hatch just zoom it take it inside the hatch once it is highlighted then click and go inside take your cursor inside and give the depth of 50 so the engraving is formed we can view it in conceptual visual style so in this way the stone engraving is created so same way we will do it on this, this side also so just say press pull then take your cursor inside the hatch and allow it to generate the boundaries once all boundaries has been selected allow it to select all the boundaries then just click then go inside and give a depth of 50 enter So in this way engraving is created here also stone engraving type effect so next thing we want to do is create a ground so to create a ground go to top view take a top then uh, take rectangle command and uh, define the ground how much how, how bigger ground you want suppose I want this much bigger ground once rectangle is created then take the region command from draw section draw panel draw region select the rectangle and press enter so ground is created just switch your view to southeast isometric 
then now ground is coming above the that foundation we just created so just move it just give the move command just say move select the object outside object move give the base point downward direction so we have to move it by 1050 distance enter so ground will be shifted to the bottom okay now we want uh, we will apply color to the ground so for applying color right click on home show panel then properties then select the ground and click on the properties window select color then choose the suitable color what you want okay so in this way we have applied the color to the ground so in this way we have created the foundation part and the ground so we will stop here now so thanks for joining